Hi guys, so I am having a problem with my website in terms of responsiveness. This was happened when after I insert the AdSense into my site, but I also don't want to remove the AdSense because my site is already starting to make money, even though it's not so big, but I'm happy to, to see it is generating a money. So currently I have three ad units. This is the, I think this is the infeed unit. And then this one is the, oh, that is the infeed, this one. And this is the article and the display is this. So we want this to make it responsive. The problem right now is when I inspect the elements and then view it in mobile version, you can see that it's totally mess up so let's fix it but first um, what I'm gonna do is I want this display AdSense um, should be have the same width so in order to do that let's go to the widget and then okay I added the display AdSense there and if I screenshot and inspect my banner it's this is the width so what will I do is I will put a style of 253px and then I will grab my branding color and then background color change that put the hex color my branding hex color now let's see okay it's already perfectly working here and I'm fine with that as long as it's not small so that's already good for me now what we will do is um, fix the responsiveness so as you can see here it's not responsive this is the main issue that I need to fix so yeah let's begin first is you need to go where you added the code so i added the code into my dv theme options ads and then i added the script here now we will going to add a class so we can declare a custom css for our script so as an example in my on my choice let me name it responsive add banner okay and then i will also put that on my other script that i um, added in my functions.php let's call that responsive banner okay now once we already have a custom class into our script it's time to declare a media query so go to the DV theme options by the way this should work in all themes no matter what theme you are you just need to declare the custom um, class and then the um, CSS code so um, on my side um, you need to go to the DV theme options and then custom CSS now I will declare a media query um let's target the small device first 203.436 em that will be for the um small devices like um ios so adsense what's the name of the wait a minute so the name of the site okay here i have a copy here so the name of the custom class so adsense by google is already by default um, class name but we have added a, a responsive ad banner as a custom class and then we will create we will declare a max width of um, 22 em now we will also target the um, tablet now let's change the max width and make it 63 and then in this side we will um, 
um, this should work in all devices so this should be global um, first I'm gonna do is make sure that the width is just 99% okay let's just make it 98 per 98% okay I think 95 would be safe and then overflow because I don't want to scroll the the screen which is happening right now so I want it to be hidden and then padding should be zero margin I want to have a margin at the top and margin at the bottom so it doesn't look um, very busy on my post so margin one and then but I want my padding and my my left padding and right padding to be zero last thing is I will declare an object fit contain this will make sure that our image wouldn't be cut off so save that and update and let's open the incognito mode let's see if our site is responsive so inspect and yeah it's already responsive we have able to make our site responsive i hope this has been helpful and if you have any um suggestions what will be the topics that i'm going to cover in my next video please comment down below and don't forget to click the ring bell icon to receive a notification from me for the latest videos from bookworm head have a great day